Uh, it was the last lap, and uh, just, you know, it was the last lap, and I just felt like I had to do what I had to do to stay there. And came up on, uh, I believe it was Travis Preston, and, and uh, he kind of went into the berm, kind of in the middle, and I was expecting him to go to the outside. And he just kind of came to a stop as I went to turn underneath him and just hit the back wheel, and there's kind of nothing that I could do. And that was, that was a tough one to swallow, just because, you know, it was the last lap, and kind of felt like I could uh, hold on a second and crash. The second lap, I believe it was, I uh, I tripled in the back and just came up a little short. And then I, as I hit the next turn, I lost the front and kind of got caught up there. And I wasn't able to double before the the uh, the sand there. But uh, kind of just that was kind of the the break of the race. Just kind of lost contact. I was pretty happy the way I was riding, especially the last seven or eight laps. I was uh, I was chewing away at the gap for sure and. Uh, you know, when, when he made that mistake and I got by him and then we were playing cat and mouse and, uh, you know, I, I knew that he was probably going to put an aggressive move on me after the mechanics, so I just let him go. You know, I thought that I was going to I was gonna uh, get him on the last lap. I uh, was going to try to get by him there by the mechanics turn because uh, I, I was reeling him in and uh, he, was, he was making some mistakes and, and the whoops, I was, I was catching him through the hoop section there and... Uh, but uh, he fell down, and I was able to get by him with, without, you know, without having having to pass him while he was on two wheels. I seen him, seen him just pretty much laying there, and I, <laughs> I picked him up and just, you know, put it, put his hand up, and uh, you know, like a, it, it's a great feeling to uh, to win a race, and uh, just you know, give him give him credit where credit's due. I felt fairly comfortable tonight, you know. I was just uh, a little nervous being out there, you know. I've, you know, I've been out there, you know, for 20 laps and stuff, and, you know, I felt great, you know, I felt, you know, strong, I, um, I lost my front brakes, like, seven laps, so, um, halfway through the race, you know, these guys started catching me, and then I kind of got adjusted to it, and, and, uh, kind of gapped them again, but, you know, it's not a great race, you know, I, I'm so, I'm so happy, I don't even say, I wasn't pushing, and, you know, I was definitely in control, and I, I just think, you know, being out there, you know, I, at Orlando, I got a taste of, being out front, I also got a taste of, you know, going down, and, um, you know, I liked that feeling, and I, I knew I could do good, and, you know, I finally, I finally done it, thanks. This place has been weird for me, the, the first time I ever came here, I mean, you guys, you guys know, I mean, I fell four times in one lap, and, um, you know, I lost the championship there, and the year out there, I came back and won the championship, and it was just, you know, a, a good celebration for me, you know, I was just really excited, you know, getting, you know, my first win, and also, you know, I was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't. <laughs> that was my dance. <laughs> you know, Ricky's a you know a great champion. You know, he's he's won a lot of races. So you know, to be picked up by somebody like that, you know, by winning your first race, and uh, this dude seems like he has 400 race wins. So <laughs> it, it, it was cool. You know, um, you know, I really appreciate him coming over. You know, coming over to me, and, and uh, it, it, I was it's an honor. You know, it was great.